Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Empire Espionage Edition. <laughs> we are currently in the process of escaping from South Figaro. After having rescued uh, Celeste, beautiful ex-general of the Empire. Um, oh hey, also, suddenly random encounters. But it's okay, we have auto-paste. Uh, by the way, I'll go into what that runic ability does in a moment. Or, well, not in a moment. It'll have, I'll cover it later this episode, is what I'll be doing. It's not immediately relevant, is the thing. But it will be. I really need to give her a better sword. Um... Oh well. Now then, now then, now then, now then. I just need to make sure I'm on the right track. Uh... That is unhelpful. Oh, it just a sec. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to double check my notes to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Like that box down there that's in the wide open. Um... Yep. 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 That's just great. Um. This guy's hit pretty hard, eh? Well, not really. Just. Let's use some magic. Shield block! Haha! I wish I could steal more, but it's not really practical in this area, it must be said. What is more practical is getting iron armor, which we're gonna throw on Celez, because she can wear it, and it's better than a uh, hell of a lot better than leather armor. Um although it is a little bit slower it seems. Go figure. Now then, two more boxes are over there, and one that's open. Uh, wait, what? Why? How do I get those? Um, I think I just go around, actually. Yeah, I do. Okay, simple. Frankly, this area lays the secret passage thing on a little bit thick. Um, but what's she gonna do, I suppose? Hmm. Oh, I should have attacked the commander with Locke. Oh well. Oh well. Just oh well. He's dead now. Yeah, I'm not using very good tactics right now, it must be said. Know that I really need to. This isn't really too hard yet. Heavy shield and a great sword, which is the thing I wanted. Because Celez here can use the great sword to great effect. Um Yeah. And on that note, let's get out of here. Uh no? I thought for sure. Really? Where's the way out of here? Where's the way out of here? Um... I think, you know, I just go straight. It's... wait. Is it just... yeah, there we go. This whole place is a freaking maze, you know? Uh, oh wait, actually. Actually, I almost missed something right there. That is really important. Uh, cut. No, don't cut. I already started talking. Uh, do you notice that staircase that was to the left of us? Well, that staircase is extremely hard to get to. Uh, and in fact, like I said, I was expecting it and I nearly missed it. Um, but it is really, really, really important that we get it. Because it has a an extremely important... Uh, one, two, three, no, no, there we go. 
So as I was saying, it's an extremely important... Uh, wait, what? There we go. Uh, items down here. Plural. There should be three. Um... A hi either. An X potion. And... Is, what? No, it's around here somewhere. Um... Where, where is it? Oh, there we go, and a ribbon! And as you should know, ribbons are OP. Prevents all status alignments. Which I'm not actually gonna put on either of these guys, because they don't really need it right now. Um, but... Even so, it's like crazy amazingly good, and you don't get very many, so make sure you do not miss the ribbon. Or the explosion for that matter, actually, is probably nearly as useful. Okay, anyway, now we can hurry up out of here, for the most part. Um, we do want to... There's one more thing, which is this box in the middle of the open, which is an earring. Which is another really good relic. Um, it boosts your magic power, and it's more effective when you have wearing two of them. Although that takes up a lot of inventory, or that takes up all your relic spots, so... You know, I don't know if I would actually do that, um... But any but but anyway. Anyway, it's still good to grab it, because you know ribbon. No, I well yeah. Okay, you know just forget it. I've lost my talking. Um That accounts for all of the items we care about at all. So why are you helping me? You remind me a lot of someone I know. What's the- what's it matter, anyway? I'm helping you because I want to! And... we're out! Completely... even. Now here's a good time to remember... Incidentally... To remember, that is... That we can use the cabin here as a an inn. Like so. Which is very convenient for what we're about to do next. Um Okay, I feel like the music definitely just didn't update properly somewhere in there. Uh Whatever. Oh, wait. Now we have the world map music, finally. Um... Back into the cave. Okay, so the cave of... The Figaro cave is the same as before, with the same monsters, I think, and definitely the same, um... items, which means we still don't want to pick them up. What is not the same is, well, our party, for one thing, but also something else that you'll see in a minute or two. Once we, once we get to near the other end. Uh, what was that noise? That wasn't game. Was. And it was not part of the music. Oh hey, block with the gotch. That thing's awesome. Which reminds me, actually, we want to do something now. Uh, for our relics, I would advise not having Locke equipped with the Genji Glove. Um, and remove his sprint shoes. Now that does mo do more damage, but I like the boost from this better. Um. You know, I just don't want any of that on you, actually. And remove this stuff. Although we are gonna put the hyper or er, put the uh, 
knight's code on you. The reason we're doing this now is because we're about to do a boss fight. Uh, and more specifically, we're going to do a boss fight then immediately switch to other characters. And I want all of the those good relics for those other characters. That's basically why we did Locks first, in fact, because you get the opportunity to get all these really good relics from his story that you can't so easily get with the other people. Um... Do I, do I want poison? I don't think I do. Um... Right. Right. I... Yeah. Okay. And the boss fight coming up, well, you'll see. What is that noise? Okay, so, um, where was I? I want to go this way, right? Indeed I do. It's the hot sprint. What? That's what I keep asking, Locke. Hot spring! With the turtle. Um, back attack, really? Well, that's, that's kind of frustrating. Oh well. What you gonna do, I suppose. I should probably move to the front row, is what I should do, actually. Uh, but I'm not going to. Uh, what I am gonna do is use Blizzard on the bear. Ah, uh, that wasn't quite as effective as I was hoping. It must be said. Anywho, uh, will that do it? It will. Now that that's taken care of... What is that? Something is coming through the- Oh, that's what the noise was. And... Boss. Tunnel armor! If that thing hits us with its magic, because it is magitech after all, then we'll be scrubbing two big scorches off. Let me try that again. Then they'll be scrubbing two big scor mark scorch marks off. Ah, I can't talk. Why they would do that in a cave, I'm not sure, but whatever. What are we supposed to do? Don't worry. I'll draw its magic with my runic blade, which is the runic thing from before. And you'll be okay? Just you watch. So, as Celez implied, we want to use Runic Blade with her basically every turn. As, when the tunnel armor uses magic, it'll be drawn to her blade, and she won't take any damage, and she'll regain a little bit of MP. Now, the thing about Runic Blade to, that should be mentioned is it only works... Um... It only works if uh, she is equipped with a sword or knife. Okay, I had to double check, because sometimes tunnel armor has two different things you can steal from it. Not this time, clearly. Um... Okay, well, it's not using magic right now. Oh, that's magic. Uh, now... The tunnel armor here has over a thousand HP, so it's sort of more ideal if we can use magic on him to speed up the process, but it's also dangerous because it leaves you vulnerable to taking the hits your or the magic yourself to the face. Uh, in fact, if you don't care about getting to other people, I would probably recommend giving Slez the Hermes sandals for this battle. Because then you ha probably have enough time to use magic and uh, runic blade more readily. Whereas currently, it's a bit of a luck of the draw thing, because it doesn't use poison every turn. But it does it 
fairly often. Um, but if you have Hermes sandals, then you can um, then your odds of being able to successfully use, uh, block Runic Blade while also using magic are much higher. Uh, yeah, you see, it just totally hit us with magic there, which kind of sucks. Drill? Ew. Oh, and we killed it. Nice dissolve. And we got an elixir! Yay! And a small amount of money. Hooey! Looks like we're finally in the clear. And then he walks out of the cave, and then we finished his, um, Root. Choose a scenario, Koopo. And I will next time because I have to spoil, um, make it, you know, I need to insert false, what is the word, suspense. There we go. Yeah, I need to insert false suspense because it's the thing to do. So until next time, when I choose which of these two groups, I'll be doing next, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Blue, and have a nice day.